Hello everyone and welcome back to the Red and Blue Site YouTube channel. I've had quite a lengthy uh, break before and after Christmas, um, but I'm back and we're ready to go and uh, more videos will be coming out following this one. And I think it's a perfect time to make a video on the channel, a channel, you know, to, to get things going again on the channel after a lengthy break from uh, Palace content. I think I'm, I think we all needed it. There were times at the end of last season, especially, um, where it was quite depressing and the start of the season as well, um, uh, even though it was a good start. There was times, that obviously, in the build-up to Christmas, it got a bit, the fixture list was quite busy. There was uh, some good results, some poor results, um, and some, some results like the Arsenal one recently, for example, which showed a lot of positive steps being made going forward, and hopefully we continue to make those positive steps. Um, and as I said, I think this video today, the, the, the news coming out of the club today, of course, everyone knows... Um, John Philippe Mateta has signed a loan deal, an 18 month loan deal with Palace with an option to buy. I think this is a great time to make a video and to start doing videos again on the or to continue doing videos on the channel. I was, I was never planning on stopping making videos. It was just simply a break from things. But we're back, ready to go now. So let's get into it. Um have to wear have to wear the shirt. I think Evil Sash is a good time to wear it because this guy looks like a fantastic player. I think hold my hands up, didn't know it hardly anything about him. I was I was aware of the name and I knew that he um, was a mind striker. Apart from that, I didn't really know anything about uh, Jean-Philippe Mateta. But for me, it looks like it's going to be a fantastic signing for Palace on paper. It's again, following the mould of Eze and Nathan Ferguson, we're going for a younger player, only 23 years old. He fits the mould of what we're trying to do now and what we need to do. We've got the oldest squad in the division and obviously Parrish and the board, fair play, credit to them. They managed to, on really good finances, uh, we'll get onto the finances involved in a minute in this deal, but on a really good money, managed to get a really good, young, promising player into the team. Whether or not he stays for a long period of time and becomes a club legend, it, it remains to be seen. There's a lot of ifs and buts regarding that. Um, he could be, it could just be a stepping stone for him, um, you know. But on paper, a fantastic signing and a player that really fits the mould of what the club's about, I think. The, the way he plays football, the, the approach he takes to games, I think... He's got that bit of sauce and swagger as well when he's on the pitch. When I've seen video clips of him as well in in preparing, to, in preparing for his debut for Palace, I think there's a real a really good striker uh, in there, and hopefully he unlocks more of that potential uh, in a, in the colours of red and blue. If you look at his career, of course he has scored a bundle of goals uh, at mine to, at this, in this season alone, ten goals and seventeen appearances, and that's the problem we've had this season. Although we're scoring more goals, the strikers are really struggling to contribute. Um, Ayu's been out of form compared to last season. He hasn't really hit the heights of or, or the, the crucial goals that he was hitting last season. Batshuayi, I'm, and I'm gutted about this because Batshuayi was one of my favourite players when he was on loan a few seasons ago. He hasn't been able to get a run in the team, and I, I do, I do still believe that with a few run, a few games, you know, a, a run of games in the first eleven, I think we can see Batshuayi get back to the way he was in the, in our in his last loan spell with the club. But uh, it's not looking like Roy is willing to do that. It's, he is favouring Benteke. And although Benteke's performances have been better, and of course I was buzzing, as I'm sure all, everyone was, to see him score against West Brom in, in such a good fashion, uh, with, especially with the, the uh, fifth goal. It was a lovely finish. And so for him to build from that and to put in some good performances from there, um, again, uh, I think Arsenal was another example where you feel like he's, he's he was scuffing chances that really should be hitting the target at least. And I, I just don't have any confidence, especially with his wage, the wages we're giving him. I don't have confidence in him going on to be a consistent player like he was in that first season for the club. And it's a shame, uh, but we have said this all along. I think that is a key area we need to address. Zaha, as good as he's been this season, he's been amazing uh, with his goal scoring form, his goal contributions in general. Obviously, starting up front has been good for him. I still see him as a winger. He naturally likes to drift wide and take players on. I think he does very well in the middle, but I still see him. And I think a lot of players, and I think he would admit himself, still sees himself as a winger. And ideally, that's where I'd like, I personally would like to see him carry on playing. Um, so I think that position up front has been the one major downside, I think, to our to our season so far. I think all the other areas have been quite good. We've shown good spells and bad spells, but that's Palace in a nutshell. We're going to go through ups and downs through a season. When it's very rare you find a consistent 
you know, upward uh, trajectory, you know, in a season in terms of form and, and performances. Uh, probably the last time we had that was the season we got promoted. And even then we dropped off the off a cliff after New Year, top of the league and ended up scraping into the playoffs. So even when we get promoted, even when we have one of the most successful seasons at the club for, for decades, uh, it's never going to be simple. Uh, and that's what I mean when, when I think the sign like Mateta is perfect for what we need. We're addressing problems that we've got in the team at the moment, which is goals from strikers. 10 goals in 17 for Mines. Some of those finishes, beautiful. Some some corners coming in and he's chesting the ball in, not even headering it. Six foot four, he, his idol being Zlatan Ibrahimovic and he wants to replicate him as best he can in his career. And to hear stuff like that, you know, look at Zlatan now, he's 39 and still banging them in for AC Milan. He's, he's at a top level in Europe. If we have a player who's will who's can get the range of finishing and, and finishing ability as as Ibrahimovic, even even a glimpse of that, then I'm very much looking forward to seeing how he plays. He, as I said already, he looks like he has a bags of confidence in him. Uh, and as I said as well, the finances involved were brilliant. It's an eighteen month loan deal initially, um, with an option to buy, and the option to buy uh, will be triggered if he has fifteen appearances. I believe it's rumored to be fifteen appearances for the first team in 18 months, which he will get 100%. Probably will take a few games before he starts starting. I doubt he will start in our next game in the league. Um, I feel like he will have a couple of games off the bench before starting. But Roy might surprise us. Um, but once that happens, if that happens, then we have the option to buy, which is around £18 million. And for a top striker in Europe, I say top striker, for a really promising young striker in Europe who's had a handful of goals at under-21 level for France. And you look at the, 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 the senior team for France, he's got players like Griezmann, Giroud, Lacazette ahead of him. It's incredibly, incredibly hard for him to get into that French team. But he was in between 2018-19, when he was at that age in 20, 21 years old, was a consistent player for the under-21 side and scoring goals, uh, a handful of goals for the under-21 team. We've got a really good young player on our hands here. Look, wants to be in the Premier League, wants to take this chance, wants to impress the fans, hungry, wants, uh, you know, a hungry player who wants to prove himself in the best league in the world. And whether or not it's a stepping stone, I think players like Eze, Eze shown it. He, he's ripped things up since coming into league and he's, and he's taken it in his stride. I really hope Mateta follows suit. And I just think the sound of it, even if it's a 4-4-2 with Mateta, Wilf, Eze, and on the other wing, Townsend, Schlupp, whoever it is, or even if we go back to a 4-3-3 and have Wilf, Eze, Mateta as a front three, how good does that sound? I really, really hope this works. I think it's a really exciting signing for the fans. I think it's a really promising signing financially for the club, for the future of the club. It's, it makes total sense. I think it's really good business. And I really, really hope our new number 14, Jean-Philippe Mateta, could hit the ground running. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to see him play. I'd love to know your thoughts, guys. Back on the channel now. We're starting to make more content. I've had a bit of a break, but we're back going now. And I apologise for the wait, but hopefully um, you guys are all good and uh, ready to see more content. There will be more content. I promise you that. Thank you for being so patient. Uh, Jean-Philippe Mateta, 18-month loan deal, option to buy at the end of those 18 months. Really excited to see how this one goes. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like, share, subscribe. Up the palace. Come on, guys.